Hi, my name is Jennifer A. Dick. I would have been reading tonight in Athens, Georgia, thanks to Hannah V. Warren's organization of an event at Avid Books alongside poet Gail Marie Thompson. Since instead we are all cloistered in our own homes, I thought I would share a piece from that called Timber Hitch from my new manuscript and process, Shelf Break. It uses, like all the other poems in the book, various nautical terms and sound slippages. It is written in sections, in this case, seven small sections. Timber Hitch recently appeared online on Jerome Brothenberg's Poets and Poetics blog and his jacket two page of the same name. Thank you, Jerome, for that. And here it is, Timber Hitch. One. To chide, to caterwaul, to christen, radiant or rutilated quartz crystallography, cartographers engraved maimings of parchment, trident slaughterhouses of old files, remnants or rudimentary stacks of startled pillars of the radius of redundancy and echo. Two, median of misconceptions, misanthropic, mesopelagic, tropical, amoebic, dysentery, diatribe or troubled waterways, spindly motors, mortar, cracks, fissures, figments, glint atop the gangway, gate or plate, schlepped up on deck, the chained, the hauled, the cratered cargo hold, ruin porn, ornamentation, a lapsus, next to Baroque mer mermaids, Neptune, Narwhal, Nebuchadnezzar. Three, folkloric trials, survivalist phantasmagoria, heel, herd, hollows, slip overboard, under seaside fault line, ocean rifts, shadowed reefs, cliffs, welts, swelling over surface, skin parched crimson, sunburnt blind, instances of hooked reminiscences, what is dropped into the abyss? resurfaces. Four, peel, coffin, reel, slice, rice, prized, out packaging for import, export, trails of thunderous treasure, pirated skies, shimmied up mast lickety split to ex gondolier, ex ferryman, ex dockhand, command new crew or captain, buccaneers, jack of all trays, plying wares and wiles, ex sail maker, ex ship fitter, taste of the salty seas all aboard, on watch, striking out, swabby, tar, sea dog, seafaring, mariners, all five cast asunder. The stories plunged, pike, pumice, stoning, their tribal soothsayer, stowaway, whisperer of wisdom, of voluminous ages, caretaker shaman of pagan head shrinkers, of peyote visionaries, spiked f pufferfish island, jungle inhabitants, mad forgotten duties forbidding, forbidden opening, racked body bolted down to hatch, to hull, to the wet mop deck of slippery sentences written out in lost tongues, she, I, mouth incantations, as if, as in, messages sent over wire, cold cables, in the cartographer's ringing depths, dis, riffs, rafts, belonging. Six, through time, if time, cyclic, discombobulated minutiae, minutes count down to, start at a hundred, Sixty, sextants and astronomers, logbooks and rolled up parchment maps, salt water, faded X marking the spot, an X, an abacus, to calculate, triturate, a depository's countenance, continence, conservationist longitude and latitude, tattooed into the skin, that which is. Seven, B, longed, fourth, forums, numeric debugged in the coding colony, the colonized decoded cipher key, password, book lost, hefted up atop a shelf in some on-land library atrium within which the seafarer's wife waits and hopes, hides soft murmuring, susurration of wind shear, seconded by moon tides full rising, inexplicable, elected, finite dream zones echo tucked within lost languages, consonants, herald, hallowed, homing device, devised preparatory modules, purgatory, encased outboard motor running full throttle to escape that this, 
their, our, her, my extinction event.